Guys, I don't remember the last time I was this excited to vlog. It has been a little while and I have so much I want to talk to you guys about. So let's get caught up. The intro of this vlog, I'm just going to say right now, it might be a little long because I have some things that I just need to update you guys on. Where I've been for the past couple weeks, why I haven't been vlogging. Let's just get into it. Um, the last video I filmed, which was literally just like a short sit down vlog that I filmed right before I went out of town like two and a half weeks ago so a pretty long time ago right after I filmed that that exact same day I went out of town and I flew and I checked my bag and I had my vlogging camera in my bag and I had like a layover so my bag went from Boise to Seattle to Atlanta so once I got to Atlanta um, now, granted, this has never, ever happened to me before, and I check my bag almost every single time I fly. I am not one of those people that's, like, sketched out about checking my bag. I've never had a bad experience. I've always gotten my bag back quickly and all this kind of stuff, so um, I'm not saying this in any way to be like, don't check your bags don't trust airlines this is just what happened to me this one particular time and it happened to involve my camera so i got to atlanta i watched my suitcase come off the luggage belt flying with alaska airlines by the way who i really actually like alaska airlines i've never had an issue flying with them so my bag came off the belt and suitcase was completely unzipped and it wasn't completely open like it was still together folded on top of each other but it was completely unzipped and my items were falling out of my suitcase like my shoes were falling out on the luggage belt so I kind of am like what is going on here I grab all my stuff I take it off the belt I put it on the floor I'm like okay what is missing from in here did I lose anything important like what's going on so I kind of look around and I didn't think that I was missing anything. So I thought maybe my bag just five minutes ago, it like unzipped or something happened. My bag came open and nothing fell out. This is great. This is awesome. I don't see anything missing. Let's zip my bag up and let's get out of the airport right now. So I did that and then maybe about, it took me honestly like five days to realize I was on vacation and I hadn't been vlogging. I wasn't planning to vlog when I was um, on this trip when I was at the beach. And it took me like five days to realize that my camera had fallen out of my checked bag. So that was pretty unfortunate because it ended up being the only item that I lost and the only valuable thing that I had in my suitcase. So I have no idea what happened. I submitted a claim with the airline, with Alaska um, for the missing item and all this stuff and just kind of being like you know this happened when it was under you guys's watch i watched my bag come off of the belt completely unzipped which like i said has never happened to me before and i luckily don't think i lost anything else but i did lose my camera then the airline said that they were working on my claim but they weren't going to be able to even respond to me for 30 days so basically until like early july this was maybe a week ago or something like that, two weeks ago. So I just bit the bullet at that point and I ordered a new camera and that is what I'm vlogging on right now. But um, yeah, that's the reason I took a little bit of an unintentional vlogging break that I did not intend to take. I'm gonna just start uh, basically like a week in my life today and I'm probably already, the footage just from today is probably gonna be enough to be a whole vlog in itself <laughs> because I just like missed you guys and wanted to catch up with you so thank you so much for you guys being patient uh i'm filming on my new g7x mark ii which is the newer version the newest version of the g7x and i actually had an up i had had the same camera since 2014 i actually wish i had it right now so i could show you guys the old one because whenever i was get whenever i got a new camera i was like i can't wait to show the vlog literally what crap my camera has turned into the screen and the lens were like completely cracked and shattered i had shattered the screen so not shattered but like cracked the filming screen so many times and it just looks so good right now filming on this new camera so i did bite the bullet and get a new camera and then whenever the airline gets back to me um i believe they're gonna reimburse me the amount for the camera i feel like i haven't talked to you guys in a zillion freaking years before we get into the rest of this vlog i actually only have one day left on my current merch sale and i wanted to let you guys know in case you wanted to get your hands on one of the limited edition beanies or hats um the living my best life design and the lotus design are available and this is actually 
the last day to get your hands on them so if you want one i will have the link as the first link in the description box um like i said these were limited edition we are not sure if we're going to be bringing either of these products back leave me a comment um if you would like them to be brought back we might continue promoting the caps after this but the beanies are definitely going away especially because it's summertime now we have the last chance to get one if you do like them and you do want one of these limited edition products the link will be in the description box to get your hands on one if you want to today's monday so um i have been cleaning uh, there's a fly on my coffee table these flies keep getting into my house and buzzing around it's making me so mad it's one of my biggest pet peeves is like the buzzing of a fly near your ear but it just it's summertime i just got to get used to these flies i'm not gonna kill them i'm just gonna let them live their life anyway today is monday i have been cleaning i made a few changes to the living room and my bedroom basically just upgrading things i've really upgraded my lifestyle i would say i got some new plants let me give you guys i'm just talking so much let me even show you guys and then i can't even remember if i ended up showing you guys this but this is a little tv stand that sean and i put together the tv obviously you guys have seen that some of my new plants i recently moved this guy this is like a little pink plant but i would love you guys's opinions some of my plants are doing well and then other ones are really drying up like this one so this is a um bromelade i think that's how you pronounce it i have it in this pot that um is it detached from this one and this one drains and then you can it can catch some of the water in this one so i maybe water this guy you know whenever it's feeling dry maybe about once a week on average and i did have it over here in the first place by this window because i was giving it a lot of sunlight and then it kind of started to dry up right here on the top which doesn't really look that pretty i want it to just be this beautiful pink color and some of these um you can tell some of these leaves are really getting like dry on the ends so if any plant people want to comment on this video and say like what i should be doing um because i'm really bad at keeping plants alive that are <laughs> you know kind of complicated so i would love help with that um, I also got this plant. This is my newest floor plant and I'm obsessed with it. It's probably my biggest plant that I own. Let's see if I can remember. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll insert like what it's called right here. I actually just ordered this off of Amazon and it is looking so beautiful. I have one question, you guys. It came with this bamboo stick. I'm not sure if this is real or whatever. It came with this in it and I want to know, do I have to keep this in here or can I take it out? Because I, it feels just random that this bamboo stick is in here, but I'm also like, well, maybe if they sent the package with the plant with this in it, maybe I should keep it in there and it keeps the plant like straight or healthy i have no idea basically i'm asking for who knows who knows what i should uh do with this guy i also got some new couch pillow covers i had these blue velvet pillows that are actually inside of the pillow covers that i ordered i ordered a little four pack of these like plant pillow covers like i said it's not with the pillow included um and i just got these four pack of the plant pillow covers from amazon so i think they're really really cute i got this one too that i have over here with my computer chair i'll link down below the plant that i showed you guys the floor plant from amazon if you're interested in it it's really beautiful and i will also link the plant pillow covers that i just showed you guys down on amazon as well i don't know if anyone even cares but i like showing you guys when i um have updated things because i'm you know still i've moved i've lived here for three months now about three and a half months even and i'm still making a lot of changes in progress and just updating things slowly and making it more homey um, I will be doing an official house tour, home tour, whenever I feel like I'm pretty much done. It honestly might not be until like the fall time. Me and my buddy have missed you guys so much. Have you missed the vlog? Have you missed being the star? He really loves, oh yeah, he's acting all shy right now, but he really loves camera. Okay, this is my new bed frame. I just made my bed, so I thought I would show you guys. I really, really love it. Um, so basically, it's kind of like a tufted velvet. 
and then it has studs all down both sides. But this is it. I actually thought that the bed was going to be the color pretty much of these pillows, like a baby pink, which is why I already had these pillows picked out. I'll insert a photo of what it looked like online, and then when I got it in person, I still absolutely love it, but it's definitely more of a purple color in my opinion. And I also thought, kind of thought it was going to be the same color as like my, um, my juve. So... Kind of just had to work with it. I'm going to be ordering a few more pillows and all that kind of jazz. Um, and for right now, I have my rainbow blanket at the end of it. But I don't know how much I really like that. I just kind of have it in here for now. Um, but I might end up changing this to something more neutral. I'm also just ordered a tapestry last night from Urban Outfitters that's going to go on this wall. That's what I was saving this empty wall for. Just a pretty little pink and purple tapestry. And then I've shown you guys, I think, this wall which is my favorite wall in the room with the shelves and my festival wristbands dream catcher that I made and my crystals. I think I've showed you guys all of that. This also recently came in the mail. I just ordered this from Amazon. I think it looks nice on this wall. That was like 20 bucks. I'll link it in the description box if you guys are interested. I might get another one for like my living room or something. And then I also hung this plant recently because there was like this hook in my ceiling and I just had a dream catcher on it and then I thought well why don't I just put one of my hangy plants up there so I love that if you guys are interested I'll link the bed frame in the description box I got it from Wayfair so I actually hadn't upgraded my bed since I had the same bed since 2013 since my first apartment in LA so I thought it was time to upgrade it because my bed was just like an $80 frame from Ikea and I wanted like a nice pretty headboard that's the bed. She's cute. Amazing. Love it. <laughs> I'm gonna go do something else now. I'm editing this vlog right now and I realized I forgot to announce that I have two upcoming meetups and I really wanted to let you guys know about them as far in advance as possible. I actually announced my Boise meetup a few days ago, maybe like three or four days ago on my Instagram story, but I haven't actually talked about it in a video. So I'm finally having a meetup in Boise. It is gonna be this Sunday. I would have liked to announce it in a vlog sooner than right now, but I guess this is like, Thursday, Friday is at four days notice, which is really not that great of notice, but it's going to be this Sunday, the 24th. It's going to be at Julia Davis Park in the Rose Garden. If you guys are familiar with Boise, you probably know where that is. I've actually never been, but Sean told me that would be a good place to have my meetup. Um, I'll have the details and the exact address in the description box and it's gonna start at four o'clock on Sunday and probably go until like around 5 30 so definitely feel free to if you're if you live in the area I've been getting so many requests for the longest time to have a meetup with my girls that live in Boise so I'm definitely gonna do this one and then if you can't make it to this one um, I definitely will try to have another one in the near future just depending on how this one goes so I feel like I'm talking so fast, but feel free to bring a friend, bring a boyfriend, bring a girlfriend, bring anyone, bring a sibling, bring literally whoever you want. Um, or just come by yourself. I definitely encourage you to come by yourself if you don't have anyone that you would want to come with. Just come alone and girl, we will like take care of you. I promise. So I think Sean's gonna be there. I might end up bringing Squirtle. I'm not sure if dogs are allowed there, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be on Sunday for any of you guys that live in the area. Definitely, if you can make it, leave me a comment down below just so I can gauge like how many people to expect um yeah and then i'm also having a meetup at electric forest weekend two this year which i've been hinting at on my instagram story and i am so pumped i found out seriously that once i posted my um weekend two wristband that i got in the mail maybe about a week or so ago i so many of you guys dm'd me and were like i'm also going weekend too like i would love to see you there i'd love to meet up there and honestly if i was gonna have a meetup at any music festival why not have one at my favorite festival which is electric forest so any of you that are going weekend to to electric forest let me see i wrote down the details of it um i'm gonna have it on friday i went back and forth with the days because it's a four-day festival i went back and forth with having it on friday or saturday afternoon i'm gonna have it at three o'clock um, hopefully that doesn't interfere with any major sets that you want to see if it does You don't have to come you can definitely miss it if you have something else going on But I thought 
having it on Friday, June 29th at three o'clock would be a good time. Um, I'm gonna have it in Sherwood Forest, so in the actual forest, in the bird's nest. Um, so this isn't actually on the festival map, but I'm, if any of you guys have been before, I'm sure you've seen the bird's nest. I thought that would be the perfect place to have it. It might be a little crowded in there. We might have to like move outside of the bird's nest. Um, it's literally just like a giant gathering space, a giant literal bird's nest kind of, where people go and just chillax. It's honestly a pretty good meeting place if you're trying to meet up um, with people in the forest, which is why I thought it would be a good spot to have it. So literally if you just go into Sherwood Forest from like Ranch Arena, which is the biggest main stage, you enter from there you should only have to walk a little bit maybe like a minute or so before seeing the bird's nest it's usually like on the right side of entering the forest it's usually pretty close after you enter so hopefully you know where that is if not dm me on instagram and um we can meet up and walk in together if you don't know where it is particularly we can maybe meet up a little bit before the meetup and i can take you to where it is but yeah, I'm so excited. Um, leave me a comment below if you're going to weekend two of Electric Forest. I apologize to my weekend one girls. I'm only going to the second weekend this year. I leave in a week. So I'm definitely gonna do a packing video showing you guys what I'm wearing, what I'm bringing, all of my stuff for Electric Forest. So that'll be, you know, sometime next week. I still have to get ready for all of that. But yeah, I wanted to announce those things. Um, leave me a comment for sure if you are attending so I can gauge how many people to expect at both of these meetups. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped. So even if they're small um, and really intimate, hey, at least I get to meet like a few of you guys. It doesn't really matter how many people end up showing up. It just matters, you know, that I get to meet any of you that decide to come show. Yes. Cruising down the highway with my friends top down and we're all on our way to the beach. And everyone keeps laughing at those cars we are passing as we're sucking down.